It's as easy as one, two, three. And for this student, a page in history has come alive. You know, I like to see them actually look back in time and see actually how they were. This video disc encyclopedia is just one learning tool at Marshall High School in Portland. Virtually the whole school is wired with technology, and it's paying off. And when my learning is in my hand, and I want to cover a lot of ground quickly, and I have that interest going, uh, that's the best of all worlds for an educator. They're being more active in the learning process. Technology has brought the world to these students' fingertips. More than 200 computers are available to students, and some form of technology is being used in almost every classroom. Look, look how the lines go. It's all flat. From discussions in art to discoveries in science. And for many students, technology has generated a higher interest in learning. Before, I only had to just go to school to finish high school and go, you know, not really having a career. Now, through AutoCAD, it's given me a lot more tools to go for and have a lot more to work for. Some kids say, geez, I wish I was in that class because you could use computers and we don't. You know, we have to use books. Now I feel like I want to come in here every single day. Teachers have noticed a difference as well. Uh, they're improving in their math. They're improving in their, in their English. A lot of the kids are already in here before I get in here. And they're already started on their lesson. And that would never happen in a normal classroom. Initially, teachers were wary of the equipment, but that changed once they learned how to use technology as a tool in their classrooms. Now 80% are in the process of making it an integral part of their curriculum. And many teachers have found the use of technology has given them more time to give students individual yes. attention. In fact, I said I decided a few years ago that I was going to go to my grave never knowing about computers and never having read John Milton. I still haven't read John Milton, but um, I can't get along without computers anymore. Once you are the master of them, then you start to be creative about their use. In this school, technology seems to be fulfilling an old Chinese proverb. It says, tell me and I'll forget, show me and I'll remember, involve me and I'll understand. Kirsten Tecula, CNN, Portland, Oregon.